Good morning. Today is September 20, 2022, and I have a good game for you here. Pawn this the way, as you can see. Over here, you got all pawns over here, you got queens over here. Uh, two weaknesses and black spot over here. Basically, this one's open, and of course, uh, the king and the queen basically are in the line. So anyway, uh, that's the position of the day. Let's begin with the first puzzle. This is the first puzzle. White has just moved the rook to f1. What is black's best move? Next one. What has just moved the knight to f5? What is black's best move? Alright, next one. White has just moved the king to d1. What is white's best move? What is black's best move? Next one. White has just moved the knight to c2. What is black's best move? All right. So this is a game that's uh, actually, I guess, middle level game, somewhat uh, not not too good, not too bad, but it does have some interesting features in it. So let's begin. This is an unusual move and I usually do it uh, doing this one and then bishop and then castle. So that's pretty standard. Except that's not standard. Uh, to nice nice opening, that's not exactly common. And to be honest, lately I've been experimenting with different opening as well. I don't know why, but once I get 1400, games start becoming very different than 1200, for example. Some, a lot of the move that 1200 makes, they don't even happen at 1400 level, so I don't know. Always something good uh, with uh, trying out new things, I suppose, but it is very different. And so far so good, just usually in the opening, you want to try to control the center. Here, it's trying to control the center by indirectly threatening the knight. So let's keep going. And I'm trying to kick the bishop here. Basically, I don't want to. Basically, I want to move the queen over here to that square, so I can castle this one, because that king castle that way. That's a target over there. So I want to attack the king with a pawn, and I, I don't want to put the queen uh, of one this square, basically because this is close position. So. I want to put the queen to this square right here, but I don't want the bishop to be staying over here on the diagonal. Next move. And the bishop just took control of the center over there, just like that, very strong. Uh, next things uh, you can do, I mean the, the white can do, pull, pull up the pawn over there and got this. So, it's going to be very difficult for me to push the pawn here to kick bishop from that square. So, good move by white. Normally, this is the end of the opening move, but we still basically moving pieces around. Pieces aren't fully developed yet, so we are still in the opening stages. 
and that's very forceful. Normally this pushing a pawn too aggressively is not good, but since the king has castled, this is good. Next move. That's premature. Uh, the, the pawn over here needs to be in front of the queen, basically. That the queen move over there, that's premature. That This is typical behavior of a beginner, like a 1200. May, maybe 1200 can do this. But generally speaking, at advanced level, you don't want to have that from happening. Next move. And this, to me, is the end of the opening. Now the pieces are developed. The piece up here is not developed. That's because the pawn here is blocking, and the blocking is blocking. It's blocked by the queen. So block, block, block. What is behind in development time? And as you can see from the evaluation here, that's black has an advantage. And that's all it is, an advantage. It's not a totally winning position, but it is an advantage. Next move. And that's still good attack. And this is over, overly aggressive over here. Basically, you got two attacker, one defender. So I'm basically going to lose material. Another thing that I need to worry about is the opening or the activating the, of the rook over here. And this is something I would do as well, actually. I would activate the pawn over here immediately. So, so, so far white is doing fine. And you can tell by the evaluation, suddenly the advantage goes from black into white. Next move. I would not do this. I would not do this. I, I would take it with this pawn over here. And then text pawn, pawn move here. So, I would do, I would do it like that. Next move. And that's it. I'll open up the attacking. Uh, but for some reason, this one, uh, well, well, that's true. I mean, that's because white is now attacking. So black was having advantage, and suddenly white has regained the initiative over there. The fact that this is blocked, it doesn't matter that much because it has this attack and has this attack, so this is very strong. What is doing fine at, at this point? Mixing it up, basically. And here we have the first puzzle of the day. What has just moved the rook? to f1 and as I've told you before very strong attack very strong attack over here very strong attack over here so what I need to do over here is to neutralize the attack as much as possible to reduce the pressure attack from white so the correct answer to this one would be to trade pieces and that's what I did And this is a mistake right here. <coughs> That's a mistake right there. And I missed it. I actually missed it. Uh, the, there's a big problem right here because there is this option of moving by white. But you know, I don't want to move. I don't want to let the king stay there on that square. So I decided to play it safe. And move the king over there. So that's kind of, and suddenly the evaluation goes to neutral. But, you know, I don't know if the computer can calculate these things, but to me, that, that kind of move is scary. So I don't want, I don't want to deal with that then. So that's why I move the king. Next move. Oh, that's a mistake. That's mystic because white overlooked the danger that 
a move that I could have done earlier. Now I can move it. So this is what happened. Notice you can see the bishop is actually threatening to take the queen. So the way to do it is to move the knight and the knight can move here, can move here, can move here, can move here. So this is the answer to that question. Move the knight here. Because then it threatens to check here. And if the king move here, you know, I can just uh, check here or check here or check there. Uh, or maybe take the pawn over here, you know, like very strong, uh, very strong move. So, so this is a very strong move. I, I can take the knight here and if uh, text by pawn, free bishop. So, so this is a very strong move. So this is the way to do it. And it says minus six. So yeah, very strong move. Next move. Trying to trade the queen over here. If bishop takes queen, not takes queen. But of course, I did not take the queen immediately. I did the check. The king move. I do another check over here. King takes knight. Bishop takes queen. And done. And pretty much I win the game. So that takes bishop check. King is one takes pawn check over there. And I'm trying to see what I can do in order to get more material. So I actually found a tactic over here. Check. Now uh, the rook can go here, or maybe. But if the rook goes here, rook takes bishop. So the king has to move. King cannot move there, so move either on this two square. He move there, and this is the third puzzle. King has just moved to d1. What should black do? Answer to that question is rook take bishop, rook takes rook, check, and fold. And there you go. So Again, free bishop, and now it's queen versus knight. And all I have to do is basically trade the bishop over here with that bishop over there, and I would win the game because this pawn just gonna keep going there, no problem. Next move, and that's opening the trade right there. and keep pushing the pawn that's a mistake because remember I was trying to get that piece of over there and take that pawn now this is the fourth puzzle what should I do you can tell the knight that was guarding that pawn has just moved over there then cannot do anything Therefore, the natural reaction would be to just go take that pawn. That's a, it's a free pawn. Why not? Let's just take it. Not what I did, however. And it's a wrong pawn. I, I really should push this pawn up over here. <coughs> so, best move would be for me to take that pawn. Sec second best move would be to push this pawn over here. And I did not do either. I pushed this pawn over here. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting sloppy after that. Uh, at this point in time, you can tell I'm actually over the square here. So if I actually just take the knight with the queen like this, 
like that I can actually just keep pushing over here and this king will not be able to catch me so I could have won that way anyway next move and it's a free pawn it's a free pawn I could have taken it there you go I really should have pushed this pawn over here e easy win easy win this this actually complicates because the knight acts as, as a defender I mean sure I can meet in six move but it's more complication so I shouldn't have done this I should have pushed this pawn right here very clear very simple very good and get the knight and the link that quickly the reason I moved the queen over here is so I can have this structure over there so move the queen there and move the queen there and mid. and that's it for today thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow